Hi, in this video I'll be demonstrating Arista VXLAN setup. Uh, VXLAN is an overlay protocol which extends the layer 2 network over layer 3. Uh, this setup is going to be very simple. So in the further videos I'll be configuring the, I'll be explaining this fine leaf architecture and I'll show how to configure uh, VXLAN over BGP EVPN and uh, VXLAN multi-tenancy and a VXLAN across um, multiple vendors like uh, from Cisco to Arista and uh, Arista to Cumulus uh, only thing I have configured is uh, the OSPF uh, area 0 between all these routers and all these routers will be able to reach each other and I haven't configured these two Arista switches uh, so we will be configuring it even from the initial setup we will put these two PCs into same VLAN and we'll try to reach each other okay so first I'll show the router configuration and to make sure our L3 is fine yeah uh, you can see here it is learning all the routes through OSPF and uh, to certain destination it is having two two paths and uh, as you can see here this router force eth1 interface ip will be 205.0.0.2 so i am in router 1 now so i'll try to ping to that ip so you can see 205 is learning through ethernet 2 it is passing through this interface it is reachable okay and uh, now I'll access router 4 and verify the route show IP route it is learning the 101.0.0 through ETH2 and uh, router 1's ETH1 IP is 101.0.0.2 so I'll try reaching there it is reachable so we have a working layer 3 network here so now we will extend the same vlan uh, over layer 3 using vxlan i log into arista switch you can see we don't have any configuration here so first what i'll do i'll configure an IP here so I'll give for each one I'll give IP 101.0.0.1 okay we need to make it as a uh, L3 port is router IP I am able to reach it and I will add a default route to this router to save the config and similar way I'll configure the this switch as well interface is going to be ETH1 here the IP is going to be 205.0.0.1 we'll try ping to the router
first these uh, uh, we can do it in multiple ways so one way is like we can even join these two arista switches into this ospf domain and advertise the routes each other and uh, join since it is a very basic setup i don't want to configure any routing here so that uh, uh, user can understand even without joining to any routing domain you will be able to extend over l3 so that's why i added a default route to the this router the next router these routers should take care of all these layer 3 packets and dynamic routing okay we'll go to router 1 yeah so this router is advertising even this 101 network so uh, r4 will be able to reach r4 or the respective arista switch will be able to reach this switch so next is uh, VTAP. We need to configure a VTAP. VTAP is the virtual tunnel endpoint that is going to allow the communication between the layer 3 and layer 2 or uh, we can say it is an uh, overlay network like VXLAN. VTAP is going to be the uh, identity for uh, the particular switch so both are having different different ips so we'll configure that configure the face loop back one okay, this 21 dot one dot one slash 24 and uh, i'll go to another virus the switch back one it is this be two dot two dot slash twenty four now we'll try to ping to this interface will not be able to ping since we haven't redistributed the these routes it won't be reachable so what we need to do to do is we'll redistribute from these two routers here first we need to add a static route here IP route 21 dot 1 slash 32 2 to the destination IP we give this the EOS IP not one dot zero dot one we'll try pinging to that IP I'm able to ping so now I'll redistribute it Distribute static. Now we'll go to the router four. Yeah, it came here. So I'll ping. Yeah, I'm able to reach from R four. And even I should be able to reach from here. So similar way I need to even redistribute the another interface 22 from R4 
now we'll try reaching from this switch yeah it is reaching so now you can see um, I have a VTAP interface configured here and uh, both side I'll, I'm, I'll be able to reach the dot one interface and the VTAP. Now we'll configure the VXLAN. So first I'll go configure and VUS5. So before that I'll configure a VLAN. VLAN I'll configure as 10. Now interface VLAN 10. Okay, yeah, actually we don't have to configure any IP for the VLAN. So since these two are going to be in the uh, same VLAN or same broadcast domain, we don't need any gateway. So command is VXLAN. Interface VXLAN 1. VXLAN source interface so you can see only one option is a loopback give the loopback one that is going to be the VTAP interface and next is VXLAN okay. by default it adds the UDP port so you can check it by command show active see it uh, automatically added the port number so you don't have to give it manually now we will mention the VNI port VXLAN VLAN VLAN 10 is going to be the port VNI VNI is like our VLAN identifier so you can see VXLAN supports 16 million uh, logical grouping so I will give the VNID here, yeah, 1010. And uh, next, we'll configure the VTAP. VXLAN. Yeah, VLAN. VTAP. IP address of the remote VTAP. So we have to give 22 here. verify the config yeah now eth2 i'll assign to that vlan 10 configuration is completed we'll start the host here we'll configure only IP here we don't need to configure the gateway since both are going to be in same LAN this machine and this machine it is going to be 10.10.10.1 slash 24 Now we'll go to another switch. Okay, we have only loopback configured. Now here we have to configure the VLAN as well. Okay. VLAN 10. And then interface VXLAN 1. And VXLAN same command source interface loopback one 
and VXLAN, VLAN, 10, VNI, 1010, then VXLAN, flood, VTEP, it is going to be 21 here. Yeah. Say the config. Yeah, it looks good. So I'll configure this PC as well. Can okay, configure the IP ten dot ten dot ten dot two. After configuring the IP, we need to assign this uh, ETH2 interface to the VLAN 10. So I'll do that. Configure interface to support mode access. Support access VLAN 10. Show VLAN. Yeah. This is to E2 and uh, VXLAN 1. So we'll check here as well. Yeah. So now we'll try pinging between PCs. Yeah. It is pinging. Okay. So even see as you have seen i haven't configured any gateway here and uh, here as well but still these both pcs are communicating each other like they are in same vlan so this is how vxlan works it's just a very basic video so i'll be making some videos on advanced vxlan config with multi tenancy with vgp evpn with multiple vendors okay okay see you on next video Thanks for watching.